Is Siri Nova dead? That's what a lot of people have been asking themselves after the latest update, well patch from uh, Gwent the Witcher card game. Um, well she has been nerfed, maybe I'll describe the situation here quickly. So Siri Nova is one of the well very nice cards in Gwent the Witcher card game that is a very powerful finisher. So originally Siri had the ability to, well, she started out as a one power card, but if you had exactly two copies of each bronze card in your starting deck, she would be boosted up to, well, not boosted, strengthened, because that's very important, strengthened to power 25, which means she could, uh, with one card, you just had 25 points in the bag. She has now been nerfed down to 22, and a lot of people feel like that has been too much, although I don't think that actually kills her use. So let's just talk about the card itself first. Siri, uh, there's a few Siri cards in the game. Uh, there's Siri Nova, then you have uh, Siri, so Siri, the standard card of Siri. Then we have Siri Dash is, uh, well, useful because every time she enters the graveyard, she's returned to your deck and strengthened by three. She is actually used a lot more in uh, competitive decks because even though Siri Nova is often used in ranked play, she's not actually used all that much in higher play. The higher you get through the ranks, the less you'll see Siri, Siri Nova appear, even in her original form. Um, but the card itself is very interesting because, of course, the Nova uh, indicates her extreme power inside of her, but the Nova is when she, uh, when Siri loses all control and just wrecks everything around her. So that's why she's so powerful because it's her really raw power. Is that a problem? Not as much as you would think. Because yeah, if you're banking on her just turning the match around for you, then those three points might make the difference. But bear in mind that if you don't have the final card then she might be easily destroyed by something like uh, Geralt Igni, who is, uh, well, who can destroy the highest units on an enemy row if that row has a total of 25 or more. But there's the kicker. So Geralt Igni is the card that's most often used as a counter to Siri Nova, which is very weird since Geralt usually is the one protecting Siri, not killing her. Um, but he requires the row to have 25 points or more on that row, which is no longer the case now that Siri has been nerfed to 22. So Geralt is no longer a hard counter for Siri. She's, she can still be destroyed by the likes of uh, Shiru and, um, for example, uh, Scorch, just sim simple Scorch. Scorch can just take her out very easily after she's been played. But of course, you don't have the five extra power to go along with Scorch. But still, she's no longer hard countered by Geralt, which means she's a bit more of a solid end play. Uh, those 22 points are still a lot more than what normal gold cards can generally generate on their own. Because that's the key point here. Siri Nova is often used by starting players and less often by more experienced players because she's just raw power and raw power can be easily countered by a few cards. Plus, you need to build your entire deck around her. So uh, she also she already was something of a thing you wanted in your deck or not because you needed to make sure that every bronze card had two copies in your starting deck which uh, could limit a few of the more functional decks. I think she's still very useful in Scoia'tael decks because uh, she can be boosted in hand and then afterwards strengthened up to uh, well 22 plus the boost which can be still a very powerful mm. finisher. But really yeah good. if you're banking on Siri alone in your deck then that's not a good plan to start with because there are a lot of alternatives to just that raw 22 power which in my mind are a bit more versatile than what Siri Nova has to offer. Siri only really works when you're in the last round and only have one or two cards left and one of them is Siri because otherwise you have way too many opportunities to get countered. Uh, the only thing that Siri is good for is that she cannot be uh, reveal swapped with the Vanandal Elite which can actually switch it pa its power with a unit that is revealed. So since Siri in hand is just one power, she's actually useless in being uh, completely destroyed. So, that's, so those 22 points are almost guaranteed the moment she leaves your hand. So let's talk about two other things then. How can you still counter Siri if you can't use Igni? Well, we already talked about Scorch and, and of course in uh, further effect, that means she can also be countered by 
uh, Shiru over here. So Shiru can also really easily uh, take care of Siri if uh, she's not played as the final card. Uh, but there are a few other things. For example, if you're playing Skellige and you have a bear on the board, Siri will be damaged um, by one because she's strengthened. Uh, so she can be reset, which is another interesting thing. Uh, but of course, Fabjorn can be really easily used to just take her out after that if she's damaged by the bear and Fabjorn is the last card in your hand, which is still a very strong co counter. She can easily be destroyed by Viljeforts. So Viljeforts can also just destroy allies um, or enemies. So uh, easily taken out that way, but that of course causes your opponent to draw a card, which might be useless at the point she, that your opponent is passed, but... Uh, that's another counter, and of course, generally any card that can destroy uh, a unit is uh, very handy in uh, taking out Siri. But I also want to talk about what alternatives you have um, for Siri, because of course Siri is a strong card, is still a strong card, but there are a few other options that can generate the same amount of tempo with the same, the sing a single card. So let's go through each deck and see which cards are the best replacements for Siri now that you're looking for another card to use. If not the same amount of immediate gratification, Hjalmar can actually generate 25 points, 26 points on its own. Uh, well, not technically on its own, but uh, with one card, if you have the abilities to uh, take down the Lord of Un Unvik, it spawns on the other side, which can actually be done fairly quickly if you're running a damage dealing Skellige deck. Uh, the other card in Skellige deck can easily surpass um, Siri's raw ability and might be good to have just in case that comes around. You can counter it almost now because Siri is 22 but Olaf is a raw 20 if you have played enough beasts in your... Uh, which should not be a problem if you're using Olaf. Uh, the only problem with Olaf, of course, is that he has 20 base power, which means that if you're facing a reveal deck, you're gonna get uh, countered hard on that front. Squiatel. Squiatel is a bit harder. Um, there's, of course, Ithilin, who can easily uh, counter Siri with a double... Uh, Alzu's Thunder, which is twice uh, 9 damage, which brings the total to 20 for Ithilin. But that's pretty much it for raw counters for Ithilin. You could use uh, your vet, where is he? Your vet Meditation to just let Siri duel against another, um, another of your enemies. But they've nerfed him as well, since he now has to force two enemies on the same row to duel each other. So you have to be uh, lucky that Siri is on the same row as another unit. And uh, yeah, because Siri is going to immediately destroy that unit. And then Xavier Moran is probably the best counter in the uh, Scoia'tael deck as a raw replacement. Boosts out by the default power of the last different dwarf you played, which can easily go up to 18, 19. Um, because I think there's a few bronze dwarves that actually have pretty high power. So yeah, the best bet then is probably Sheldon Skaggs, which could put you up to 19 with just one card. Northern Realms. Northern Realms is the most interesting one in my opinion on, uh, well, for direct replacements. Uh, because we have Dijkstra, of course, which can generate a lot of uh, potential if you have the right cards for it. The most interesting replacement for Siri in the um, Northern Realms uh, faction for me is the bloody baron because the bloody baron boosts itself by one every time an enemy is destroyed which is very powerful if you're also running uh, a few machines so if you're running uh, trebuchets uh, catapults ballista is what you want uh, so every damage dealing thing you can put in your deck then the bloody baron is very very powerful because especially against monster decks i've seen uh, the bloody baron easily reaching 20 25 uh, with no problem, because of course monster decks start to destroy their own units really, really quickly. So yeah, the Bloody Baron, probably the most interesting replacement for Siri in Northern Realms. Then we have Nilfgaard. Nilfgaard doesn't really have a direct replacement. Probably the, the most close to that one is uh, Tibor Eggerbrocht, who can uh, boost itself by 15, so putting him to 25. But you have the downside that it only works if your opponent hasn't passed yet. And your opponent also draws another card if you play him. So not immediately the best 
uh, replacement for Siri. There are a few others you could use, but uh, most of them don't, won't easily get the 22 um, on their own, that is. Of course, there's a very a nice, uh, a few very nice uh, combinations, but uh, most of them won't reach 22 on their own just yet. Because, of course, there's a very a nice, a few very nice combos, but I'm just talking about raw replacements here. And then we have Monsters. Monsters, probably the most annoying one to uh, directly replace uh, Siri. Because um, there's not really anything that can directly get to that point. Um, if you have a lot of enemies, then Old Spear Tip generates 20 points on its own, which could be a nice replacement. But then, of course, you also have the uh, Old Spear Tip for Ogroids, which strengthens every Ogroid in your uh, deck hand or on the board. And then you have the same with uh, Weavers Incantation who can uh, strengthen all your relics in hand, deck and on the board by two. But relics are a lot less common than Ogroid, so uh, you have that. So that's it. That's uh, it for replacing Siri if you want to, or how you can counter her easily, and how she's actually still pretty useful if you want her in your deck. Uh, she didn't really change all that much, because if you're banking on her winning you every match, then you're gonna, well, be surprised more often than not. Because uh, she's not really that, um, well, versatile. She's just raw power, so, so uh, that's her. Um, still a very nice card, though, but uh, yeah, that's Siri Nova for you. Still not quite that, but uh, yeah, not really that much of a difference uh, as she was before. So thank you guys enormously for watching. If you like this little talk, don't forget to like this video uh, right here on YouTube. And uh, I'm planning to do this a bit more often. Just discuss a few of the changes, discuss a single card. I'd also like to know your thoughts on the new patch in Gwent. And uh, well, let's discuss that down in the comment section. So don't be afraid to put something down there. And uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoy it and see you guys next time. Goodbye.